What's up guys, I'm Reston from RossMurtech.com and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to install Android on your Raspberry Pi 2. Now there are a bunch of steps but the first step we're going to need to do is actually format our SD card or our micro SD card and uh, first you have to connect it to your computer so once you connect it to your computer we're going to format it but it has to be formatted in FAT and by default most formatting utilities already I'll have uh, FAT selected so navigate to your uh, SD card. You can do that by looking in File Explorer and looking for your uh, SD card on the left here. Uh, where is mine here? Mine should be... I actually forgot to take it out and plug it back in. Okay, so mine I named Raspberry Pi. Whatever. You can name yours whatever you want. You're going to right-click your SD card and hit Format. All right. And uh, by default, it's it's uh, select it selects uh, fat by default. And uh, again, you can name it whatever you want. I named mine Raspberry. Oops, Raspberry Pi. Just call it Raspberry Pi with no space. And let's make the Pi caps. All right, then I'm gonna hit quit, or actually, I'm gonna hit start. Sorry. Hit OK. And it's done formatting. So now we're going to actually open up our browser and download a few things. Open up your browser and navigate to berryterminal.com. The link again will be in the description, but it's www.berryterminal.com. Once there, scroll down till you see uh, this section called downloads. Then click on Berry Boot here and scroll down again and we're going to select Raspberry Pi 2. Now that, I, I think this will also work for the Raspberry Pi, the original, because they have a file here too, but we're going to click on this one, Raspberry Pi 2 download. Then uh, we're going to select oh, under this part here, direct link, click on it, and it should start downloading. Mine is downloading down here. It's a small download, it's only 31 0.2 megabytes, so it should take a few seconds to download. So once it's finished downloading, I'm going to uh, navigate to where it, it downloaded, and I can do that by clicking on Show in Folder, and I have a few of them downloaded here. But uh, I'm going to uh, double-click the, the the file that we just downloaded. It is a uh, compressed file, so we need to uncompress it. So double-click the file and uncompress it. I'm going to uh, actually uncompress it to a new folder, new folder in my desktop. So let's extract and we're going to actually let me just highlight everything and drag it to the new folder. It should be a lot easier. When you do that it will automatically extract it. So when I double click the new folder, all the files are there. So now I'm going to close this. So I'm going to double click this again. I'm going to keep this open. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all the files that I just extracted to my new folder and copy them. And I'm going to close this. Actually, I'm going to just open up my SD card. I named mine Raspberry Pi. And uh, this is the freshly formatted SD card we just formatted in FAT. FAT. So double click that and we're going to uh, paste those files inside this uh, micro SD card. I right clicked and, I, and we're going to paste. So now all the files are there. Now the next step is to uh, actually connect the SD card or micro SD card sorry to your Raspberry Pi and boot it up. So in the next part I'm going to show you guys that step and there are a bunch of more steps before we can get Android to get working on our Raspberry Pi 2. So I'll see you in the next step. All right, now uh, now we actually have to configure the Raspberry Pi. Now remove the micro SD card we just formatted, put it inside your Raspberry Pi. Make sure you connect the HDMI cable to the Pi to a monitor. Connect the keyboard and mouse to the Raspberry Pi and you have to have internet connected to the Pi. You can either have a wireless or Wi-Fi adapter or you can be hardwired right into the Raspberry Pi. But once all those steps are completed, you can turn on the Pi. So I'm gonna turn on the Pi right now. All right, so the Pi is loading. All right, so it's a welcome message here. And uh, under this message here, on the video, keep it as yes. Uh, disable over scan, keep that as yes. 
uh, network connection. I'm, I'm connected with a wire. If you have a Wi-Fi connection, you could, and or if you have a Wi-Fi adapter, make sure you select this one. Or if you want, if you have a wired connected directly to it, then uh, select this one here. Now under audio, keep it auto. Down here, uh, local settings, uh, location detection, United States, time zone, uh, America. That's me, New York. Uh, keyboard layout, U.S. Type here uh, a keyboard test. So you just type, make sure you keep it works, and it works. Then you click on OK. Then make sure you select your uh, SD card. My SD card is the top one here, MMC. Then I'm gonna hit. Make sure that under file system, you have it set as. Uh, ext4 right and uh, hit format and encryption don't check encryption we don't want to encrypt it then uh, you hit format here and it should take a couple minutes all right so when that's done we're going to scroll down here and uh, we're going to select android kitkat here so select android kitkat now this is not an accelerated version it says unaccelerated it's a beta but it'll still work and uh and then once once we install it i'll show you what i mean make sure our android kitkat is selected and hit ok now it's going to download and copy some files it should take about five to ten minutes so once that's done i'm going to come right back all right when, once that's done we can just close this here and we're going to restart the pi now we're going to boot uh, android kitkat so it's selected right here now hit boot on the bottom and that's pretty much it. We're booting Android KitKat. It's not the most stable uh, build, but it, it's actual Android on your Raspberry Pi. Now, I, I, I know they're going to uh, have an accelerated version sometime soon, hopefully a more fixed version. All right, guys, so there you go. Android on your Raspberry Pi too. Now, it stutters a lot. It is a beta version. But uh, I, I know uh, people have uh, successfully installed uh, Android on, on their uh, Raspberry Pi 2, like a really accelerated version. I think it's a Raspberry Pi 5 or 6. I'm gonna do a video showing you guys how to set that up. This was just to show you guys that it is possible to install Android on your Raspberry Pi 2. Now we're gonna test it out. So let's just drag our mouse down here and touch the circle. And as you can see, the mouse is very jittery. It's not that responsive, but it does work. And I'm gonna click on OK right here. And these are all the apps here, just like you would in your Android phone or any Android device. This is Android KitKat, and it's running on your Raspberry Pi too. Um, again, just to prove it, I'm gonna go to settings here. And and I could show you all the settings here. And we're going to go to a Bell tablet here. And it's gonna tell us what's installed. And as you can see, it's Android version 4.4.2. So it's actual Android on your Raspberry Pi too. Now, there's not much you can do. If you just wanna test out Android, and, or you just really wanna see how this works, uh, you know, mess around with it, I, I encourage you guys just to do that follow this tutorial. Again, I'm going to do a video where I show you guys how to set up an accelerated version of uh, Android. So it's the actual Android experience, very fast, very crisp, everything moves quickly and you could download apps, you could do whatever you need to do, you could develop. And this video, I just want to show you guys how, you know, the, the quick, simple way to get Android on your Raspberry Pi 2. My next video will be full-blown Android, I think 6.0 or something like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Now, if, if you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and thank you for watching.